coming for people. And it ain't gonna be pretty. Before it's all said and done, we may literally see blood in the streets. Cause this ain't gonna be nothing nice. It's not gonna be nothing pretty. I wanna say thank you to the people who bought training. I wanna say thank you to the people who are about to buy training. And shout out to the Nerd Tribe. This is an oldie, but a goodie. This video, the big penis in the sky is coming for you this Christmas. Now what I mean by that, I remember a few months ago that someone had left this comment that people would be shopping and buying presents for Christmas, which is true. It's 100% true. However, there will be a lot of people who will not be buying Christmas presents because these people are about to be homeless. This is one of the things that's problematic. I am doing pretty well financially, but I am savvy enough to know that a lot of people aren't. And I was watching one of the headlines where they said Black Friday sales record. It was like 167, 167 million people. And then it was 179 million people this year. Now I did a video. I actually went to not one, not two, but three malls. The Black Friday traffic was way off. I saw this with my own two eyes. So part of the big penis in the sky is that the powers that be are going to lie to you. Now, right now, there are people who are doing quite well. There are people who are making a lot of money. Uh, they have plenty of job security. Their bills are paid. They have fat bank accounts. There are those people. What I am talking about is the average American, the average person. Now, what is the big penis in the sky? All right, no one has ever told you this before, but when you turn 18, you have to parent yourself. And part of parenting yourself is being aware of what's going on in society. And there are many, many people who are unaware of what's going on in society. I am on Zillow literally every day doing research, getting economic data. And literally I found a bunch of houses that have been on the market. These houses were for rent. They've been on the market going on two months and you can see the price cuts. They're starting to cut their rent because no one's renting these houses. And I found a whole section of houses that were appropriately priced for the area. The big penis in the sky is bad economic outcomes coming for you whether you're prepared for them or not right now there's a guy his name is Joe Joe is working in the warehouse or driving the truck or working at the grocery store and every morning he gets up goes to work gets his check and then one day he's gonna go to work and they're gonna say hey Joe we need to see you in the office and Joe's gonna walk in the office and there's gonna be three people there and there's gonna be a lady with a folder. And she's gonna slide the folder across and she's like, Joe, we gotta let you go. Now, Joe did not see this coming because Joe wasn't staying abreast of the economic trade winds. Joe was completely blindsided. So Joe collects his little check, his little severance package, goes home, and then Joe has to tell his wife, Elaine, that he got laid off just before Christmas. This is what I'm talking about. I did a video talking about, for the first time ever, Silicon Valley has been laying off people in 20 years. So what we're gonna have in 2023 is going to be massive in terms of economic carnage. It's going to be really, because really, see, there's a bunch of Joes out there and Joe goes home to tell his wife Elaine, hey baby, I got laid off. They gave me um, six weeks severance and I get to keep insurance until June. And after that, you know, we're messed up, right? And Elaine now tells Joe, Joe, I am pregnant. And they, Joe and Elaine already have two kids, so this is the third one. So this Christmas is going to be very, very stressful for Joe and Elaine, because once again, here's another thing that happens. Around December 15th, 
17th to about January 15th, the world shuts down. People start going on vacations. It's hard to get stuff done. So it's really not the time to be looking for a job, except we have a lot of people with jobs and unemployment is extremely low. But here's the thing, Joe, was working the job, they paid him 25 bucks an hour. And he can get other jobs, but these jobs pay 10, 12, 15 bucks an hour. But Joe's bills are attuned to that 25 bucks an hour. See, there are jobs, there are jobs, but the jobs don't pay. There's a ton of jobs out there that pay 15 bucks or less an hour. There's a ton of those jobs. So Joe is now trying to find a job to replace his $25 per hour job with benefits and perks. See that, that's the problem. And see this big penis in the sky, it's like, mm, mm. and it's just gonna be flying into a lot of homes this Christmas because watch Clearview Tax. And he agrees with me that crypto is gonna crash even further and the stock market's gonna crash even further. Now, what we're gonna see in 2023, we're gonna see a lot of carnage, but for the Joe in the lanes, we're gonna see a lot of real economic pain because Joe, since he was out living this life, Joe just bought a new car and because Joe and Elaine didn't make the money that they wanted to make, their credit cards are almost maxed out. So they don't have any credit, can't get any more credit. And six weeks from now, Joe's gonna stop getting checks from this company. And this, this is a story that's going to replay itself out over and over and over. Now, I'm about to hip you to something that you may not know. There are people who have not recovered from the last recession, 2006, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are people who have not recovered from that recession. Because here's the thing, don't let you be 50 years old and you get laid off. The big penis in the sky is coming for those people hard. There are people, software engineers, IT people who are 50, 55 years old and they've been laid off and they're struggling to find work because of ageism. So a lot of people are about to get laid off and it ain't gonna be pretty. Now you could keep going to the Google machine and I, I just literally saw that head Line, record sales for Black Friday. And I, like I said, I saw with my own two eyes and there were people in the comment section was saying, hey, they were going out, they were looking at places and it was like just a regular day, the day after Thanksgiving. So it ain't just me, but online you will find out and you will see and you'll have people. Well, what about online sales? They, Glendon, what about online sales? And I will say to you, if you believe the thing, cause here's the thing, there's 10 large media companies in the world. These 10 large media companies control 90% of the media. So you're gonna see a false narrative because here's the thing, and this is me being conspiratorial. If people knew that inflation wasn't 7.7%, but it, like, once again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna prove to you that inflation was not what they told you it was. I'm about to prove it to you. In Florida, housing prices went up 30%. So a house going up 30% should factor into the inflation index, but they have some magic where they've whittled that 30% inflated increase in one year to a less than 10% inflation index. You can go ahead and Google this and see what the housing prices in Florida appreciate it to. I know people in Florida uh, who are struggling to find a place, who were struggling to find a place to live because everything was sky high. Housing prices were high, rent was high. So once again, this is bona fide proof that inflation wasn't 8.8%. Inflation was like 30%. You know, my boy inflation. Inflation out here, you thought you were gonna get them eggs for $1.30? No, nah, man, they 330. You thought you were gonna get that gas for 330? No, nah, man, it's 450 per gallon. It's your boy inflation. I'm out here working, I'm working double time. I'm working overtime, making the prices of things that you need go up 
and up and up and the stuff you don't need oh that's on sale i don't care about that because see that doesn't cost you pain when you go to the grocery store like um i use instacart quite a bit and literally i got some bottled water i got some coffee creamer and a few other things and it was 63 dollars i remember when you could go to the grocery store with 50 dollars and come out with six to eight bags full of groceries i'm I'm talking ground chop, steak, pork chops, ham, bacon, turkey, all of this bagged up for 50 bucks. Coming out the grocery store with six to eight bags overflowing with groceries. $80 might get you a bag and a half today. May get you a bag and a half. So all these folks who are like, we have record Black Friday sales. Okay, if you believe that, go ahead, knock yourself out. But I'm here to tell you, once again, Black Friday sales are down they are down and also i want you to notice did you really see any traditional black friday sales like me i don't if you notice i don't have black friday sales i mean i'm charged someone 2500 bucks for a course then on november i'm gonna put it at 50 percent off all i'm gonna do is just piss off people who bought the stuff at full price so that's one of the reasons i do not do black friday sales i don't do any sales really and what we used to see we're not seeing the traditional black friday sales not the deep deep discounting that it used to be we're seeing five and ten percent so there really wasn't black friday sales in the methodology or the vein of a traditional black friday setup we, we ain't seeing that and also we're seeing the extension of black friday now if they want to and i really want to know how these numbers are calculated because you know some of these retailers started black friday sales in october so they're counting all of that October. Once again, back in the day, Black Friday used to be the day after Thanksgiving. And then we had Cyber Monday and we had that weekend. And a lot of sales happened during that weekend. Now, Black Friday is two months long. If they're counting all of that, I, I really want to know how they crunch the numbers because what I saw with my own two eyes, I didn't see a lot of activity in not one, not two, but three malls. In these malls, Linux, Linux Mall is in the wealthy area. Perimeter Mall is in the wealthy area. Cumberland Mall is kind of close to a wealthy area. And the traffic was way, way, way down so i don't believe that we had record black friday sales but once again this is part of the big penis in the sky narrative because if people really understood how bad things were if they really understood where we were from an economic standpoint they didn't you know like i kept seeing that inflation number 8.8 percent .8 and the inflation peaked at 7.7 percent but in florida phoenix uh vegas pr housing prices increased 30 percent shouldn't that factor into the inflation index shouldn't it and i've literally seen people who were saying they don't have money for groceries because groceries are so expensive the big penis in the sky is going to be working overtime this holiday season Season. So what you're going to see, Joe and Elaine, if Joe cannot secure another job at $25 per hour, Joe is going to suffer some economic hardship. Joe at the moment is trying to sell this new car that they recently bought. But guess what? They bought the car at the top of the market. They paid too much for it. So it's hard to sell for what they owe. This is part of the economic pain. Economic pain. I mean, Joe is not sleeping at night because he's only got like, believe it or not, six weeks comes and goes very quickly when you are facing a financial deadline. So Joe, he ain't sleeping. He's trying to sell his car. He's trying to figure out what he wants to do. He's all spending all day on monster.com. He's spending all day on Indeed. He's asking everyone he knows, do you know of anyone with a decent job? Now, Joe can do Uber. And matter of fact, Joe is doing Uber and DoorDash. And it ain't even close to what he used to make. He's just doing it to delay the inevitable, to delay homelessness from him his wife, his pregnant wife, and their two children. This big penis in the sky is coming for people. And Joe was just like many of you, 
Joe was completely unaware this stuff was happening. He was completely unaware that his company was in trouble. Ask all those folks at Twitter. Ask all those folks at Microsoft. Ask all those folks at Redfin, Zillow. These people are getting laid off left and right. And I can't think of a worse time to be laid off. I cannot think. And I, once again, and I saw a comment like, don't let a homeless chick come up in your place. And I, I kind of agree with that because I, I don't have no Captain save a in me because see, I'm going to say it. Homelessness is not the result of one event, it's not the result of one decision. Homelessness is a accumulation of bad decisions and bad outcomes. So yeah, the big penis in the sky is coming for people. It ain't gonna be pretty. We're gonna see the crime rate go up. We're going to see carnage in streets. We're gonna see suicide rates go up. Domestic abuse rates go up. Homelessness go up. The foreclosure thing is starting, but we will not see the impact of foreclosures in the real estate market for about two years because it takes so long to get them to work through the courts. But yeah, and also the Airbnb apocalypse. There are so many people who literally, and this is something that I personally know, every day here in Atlanta, I can go to Zillow and find a failed Airbnb. This is somebody who has a piece of property in the hood that's fully furnished, maybe been redone, and they're trying to rent this property out for $3,500 up to $5,000 per month. $3,500? That's $40,000 a year. The average person only makes 35. So unless you gonna have a family, a husband with a job, a wife with a job, moving into your $40,000 per year Airbnb, you know, failed Airbnb experiment. And like, once again, I, I've been crunching the numbers. I've been looking uh, I, in my uh, Chrome tab. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six homes that have all experienced rent cuts they've been cutting the rent because this home has been sitting empty for two months we're gonna see more of that and um to echo the real estate trapper a lot of real estate people are in deep doo-doo at the moment a lot of people who just got in because like literally i see multiple ads on youtube for airbnb and Airbnb does not work everywhere. It just doesn't. If you're in Florida outside Disneyland, I can see that Airbnb working. If you're in Las Vegas, I can see that Airbnb working. If you're in Los Angeles, I can see that Airbnb working. But if you in Birmingham, Alabama, mm, I don't know, I don't know. But the big penis in the sky is coming for people. It's coming for people and it ain't gonna be pretty. Before it's all said and done, we may literally see blood in the streets because this ain't gonna be nothing nice. It's not going to be nothing pretty. We're going to see a lot of people go through extreme economic hardship. We're going to see the number of homeless people skyrocket. We're going to see the number of people moving into vans skyrocket. We're going to see the number of people trying to leave the country to move to another country because the cost of living is cheaper. We're going to see the exodus of many Americans from America because that big penis in the sky is not playing with people. And the big penis comes with no lube, no lube whatsoever. It's just, you get it straight with no chaser, no lube. It's gonna be rough, it's gonna be rough.